What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today's game, the game we're gonna play today is called Buried. Let's see what it's about. I didn't read the description, but by the looks of it, uh, from the thumbnails and stuff like that, it looks like we're gonna experience what it's like to be buried alive. Oh, okay, it looks like we're- yeah. I mean- Oh, <laughs> it's not PG, guys. <laughs> but I never said my channel was PG, so, I mean, whatever. Okay, so he's definitely been buried alive. He's trying to get out. He woke up in the freaking coffin. Where is it? What are we looking for? The lighter? Where is it? Where is what? All right. Uh, Oh, my phone! Yes, I'm light! <laughs> Did we get buried with trash? <laughs> so what, what does that say? You will die here. Oh, so guys, someone must have uh, knocked us out, kidnapped us, and then buried us alive. But they buried us with, like, so much trash. It's so messed up. Let me call for help. But I don't even think you even get connection all the way. Like, well, your brain, like, was six feet into the ground. I don't think connection six feet under. Message. Let's call Mom, Sam, Derek, Aaron. Who is most lucky to answer? I think Mom is most lucky to answer. I need something for Need what? Need something for this. What do you need? What do we need? Oh, you know, maybe, maybe we need to find... Guys, the lock is inside. Maybe... This is not how I die. <laughs> maybe it is how you die. No, this is how I'm going to die. So I just realized, you know, we're laying down. So you can't really... There isn't much movement to this game besides just, like, left and right, up and down. Oh, what happened? What was that noise? No network connection. Connect to Wi-Fi. You're not going to get Wi-Fi six feet below the ground. Unless you have really good internet. Like, what, Verizon? <laughs> if you got buried alive, I don't think they... they Bear with the key. Oh, what is this? Another lock. Managing your light sources are very important. You can only use your lighter on your phone light. If they have sufficient fuel or battery available. If they run out of their resource, they will be unusable. <laughs> You'll be in the dark. Okay, so you know what, guys? We're going to stick to the to the lighter because I don't know how much battery I have in on my phone. Because uh, knowing me, I never, ever charge my phone. And my phone's always dying. So let's use the lighter. Let's drop the flashlight. Oh, what is that? Oh, there we go. Okay, much better. What's in here? Oh, guys, I think we need to find the code for this. We, we found one of them, which was six. I think we need to find the rest. Let's say, guys, let's say I do get out of this coffin. If I'm buried six feet under, how the heck am I going to get all the freaking dirt off of me? Unless I'm not buried, unless I'm not buried six feet under, I'm just in a coffin. I just went towards my, like, my leg, but what even, I don't see anything over here, anything useful. Uh, guys, I'm in a tight space, and I still, I can't figure out what the freak to do on this thing. How to, like, I'm trying to find numbers to get the code, but everything I'm pressing was, oh, I found the key! <laughs> yes! <laughs> so that opened up. Okay, what's in here? What is this? I can do this. I can do what? What, what, I, I, I don't even know what I grabbed, so what, how am I supposed to know what I can do? Oh, that I just unlocked. So, oh, okay, so that just moved over. What the heck, guys? I feel like I'm doing a puzzle inside this coffin. The lighter's ah! No, the lighter's so out. No! <laughs> Babe, being in the dark is not good for your anxiety. While in the dark, your anxiety will increase quickly, causing you to pa panic, which will pa rapidly reduce how much oxygen you have left. Keeping the lights on will make you feel safe and reduce anxiety levels. The only problem is your light sources cannot stay on forever. Be mindful of your light sources and be careful while staying and I'll stay in the dark. Continue. What the heck, man? So my lighter went off. Um, what the frick is my phone? Oh my gosh. I did not sign up for this. I can't even see. How, how am I supposed to know what I'm doing or where to where I to can't breathe? I can't breathe. <laughs> I'm suffocating, guys. I don't know what to do. Oh, what the heck? What the heck, man? Ah! What is that? <laughs> Whose hand is that? Guys, whose hand? Whose crusty hand was just on my shoulder? Zero. Okay, so we have four, zero, four in the corner, it. zero right there. Ooh, like, I did find another number. Maybe it's hidden somewhere. Maybe I have to move this stuff, move this stuff around. But remember, guys, I am very... I need something. I, I get it. I get it. I you need, need something, something for it. I know. I know. I'm trying to figure it out. So we have four, zero. I need a key. Oh, my God. I need gosh. a key. First of all, key. guys, I'm in a such a, I'm in the worst anymore. situation, position ever. I'm literally this. buried alive. Um, someone's crusty old nasty hand <laughs> just got on me this. what I, I hate to keep saying I need something, I need something for maybe this. you're more I specific i can figure out what you need uh, guys look at that my phone is on five percent i'm not gonna last oh you will die here no i'm not gonna die here uh i'm a i'm positive that i will get out i don't know how but one way or another i will get out guys i'm ah! <laughs> oh my god <laughs> there goes that hat again that okay that open open that up what's in here See, look, what is this? I'm grabbing something. I don't know what I just grabbed. How am I supposed to know what to do with this, if I don't know what I'm grabbing? I don't know what I... Oh, my gosh. What's next? I mean, there's always so much you can do in a coffin. I don't know why it's so complicated. 
Oh my god, my phone is on 1%. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm gonna die in here in the dark. I'm gonna suffocate. Ah! Gosh, my phone died. I am out of absolutely all freaking light sources. My anxiety is gonna go to the roof. I'm gonna suffocate and I'm gonna die here. I, I know it's nothing else for me. I, I, I know my destiny. If I'm out of battery and my anxiety is up to the roof, and I'm having a hard time breathing now. What else is left for me? I think that this. I think I have to accept my fate. Who is that? There's noises in the background. I can do what? I have. You can't do anything in the dark. So guys, someone is definitely inside this coffin with me. We both got buried alive together. It sounds like someone's moving something in the coffin. Do you hear that? It sounds like someone's moving the top of the coffin off the lid off. So did is someone? Did I get help? Really? I'm feeling lightheaded. Yeah, because I'm suffocating. But I don't know what's going on. It's so dark, I can't tell what's going on. I can only make assumptions and guesses by what I hear. So let's keep listening, guys. Let's keep listening for clues. Or for, yeah, for signs or clues of what might be happening. Okay, my breathing is getting harder, deeper. That means I'm running out of air. So, I have been in the darkness for the past five minutes. I don't know if I, I, don't know if I should quit this game, just end it right here. Or maybe if I stay longer, I will get a certain ending. This is okay. It's not okay. N nothing about this situation is okay. <laughs> what are you talking about? If you guys know exactly the the purpose and ending of this game, go ahead and comment down below because I have no idea what the heck I'm. What the heck is supposed to happen in this game? Does each player get a different ending, or is it only one ending? I don't know, guys. I literally have zero idea. I I can't breathe. He just said I can't breathe, but it definitely sounded like he's running out of breath. Like I'm running out of breath. So I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna stay here a little bit longer. I'm gonna guess by the way that it's looking. I have no lights. I so I can't figure anything out in the dark. And since I can't figure out anything in the dark, I can't see. The only option, the only ending for me is that I suffocate. Oh, anxiety. What? Your anxiety levels are getting too high. The more anxious you are, the more you will panic. Panicking will quickly use up your remaining oxygen, lowering the amount of time you have left. I'm not gonna figure this out. You can reduce your anxiety by staying in the light. Being in the light is determined by your lighter. Be on your phone flashlight being on. Your phone screen light is... Wait, I thought my lighter went off and my phone went off. So how am I supposed to... I thought we already discussed this. I thought we already went through this. My lighter went out. My phone died, my phone died so I have no, no flashlight. Oh, suffocated guys. That was my ending, which I kind of already knew. I kind of already knew that I was gonna die by suffocation. By the way, it was by the way it was uh, going planning out. So this game was actually it was completely different than any other game that I played. Do you even escape this place? I think that's my question. Could you even escape the coffin? And I'm also very curious whose hand was the one that was touching me. So guys, I have many questions, but I guess there's no answers. I think overall this game was it was pretty good. It was just a bit confusing. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.